welcome back. So, we were discussing convergence notions. So, we have defined almost sure convergence uh, which is also known as convergence with probability and we define convergence in probability right. So, I will give two more definitions. of convergence in the rth mean. So, we say x n converges to x in the rth mean if limit n tending to infinity. So, this x n is a sequence of random variables limit n tending to infinity expectation of x n minus x to the r uh, equal to 0. Okay. And for r equal to 2 x n is set to converge to x in the mean squared sense. Okay, so, this is uh, this is another notion of convergence. Okay, this says that uh, the expected. So, if r equals two, for example, you have the mean squared error between x n and x. So, the expected x n minus x squared equal to zero as n tends to infinity. So, the mean square error goes to zero. And generally, for r, you take the rth moment. Okay, assuming it exists and so on. Right. So, if this happens, then x n is said to converge to x in the rth mean or the rth moment right. So, this is one notion of convergence and then I will then I will put down the last last one the definition. We say x n converges to x in distribution. This is convergence in distribution. If limit n tending to infinity f x n of x is equal to f x of x for all x where f x is continuous. Okay. So, this is convergence in distribution, this is also known as alternatively also known as weak convergence. See convergence almost surely is sometimes referred to as strong convergence and convergence in distribution is sometimes refers to as weak convergence. Okay. So, this means that, so this notion of convergence corresponds to the CDFs, the sequence of CDFs f x n converging to the CDF of the limiting random variable. Okay. You do not need, you do not necessarily demand convergence for all x, you demand it wherever f x is continuous. After all, where f x is, uh, where at points of discontinuity, we always know that CDFs have to take the right continuity value, right. So, at points of discontinuity, there is no I mean ambiguity on where the functional value is. But for uh, so the limit we only demand for points of continuity. Okay. Then here, so this, so if you think about it, these are not really these. For example, this notion is not really a convergence of random variable. It's only a convergence of distribution functions. Right. It's not as though 
x n and x are getting close in any way right in convergence almost surely for example x n and x were getting very close for almost all omega right for a set of probability 1 x n and x were very close they were converging right um, in this case x n and x can be very different right for any given omega it is not necessarily true at all that x n of omega and x n of omega have to be close all that is demanded here is that the CDFs converge ok the actual value of x n of omega and the actual value of x of omega can be very different right even on a set of positive probability is that clear only the sequence of distribution converge fun functions converge. So, a better terminology rather than saying a sequence of random variables convergence in distribution it is it would have been better to say that the sequence of distribution functions of the random variables converge, but somehow this terminology has stuck it is a bit of a misnomer. So, we still say that the random variables converge in distribution rather than say that the sequence of distributions converge ok. This clear? So, we have so how many definitions did I put down? So, definition 0 was so let me say definition 0 was sure convergence which is useless definition 1 was almost sure convergence definition 2 was convergence and probability. So, this should be definition 4 and this should be definition 5 uh, 3 and 4 right so, definition 3 and definition 4 if you I have called sure convergence as definition 0 because it is pretty useless right. So, for all practical purposes there is four notions of convergence we will work with ok. Now, notation so did I introduce some notation I probably did not right. So, notation so for definition 0 is point wise convergence or Oshiver convergence we will say x n converges to x point wise or uh, surely right or uh, let, let us just say x when converges to x p w ok and almost surely we will say convert x is converges to x either w p 1 on the arrow or x n converges to x a dot s on the arrow ok. So, normally right you should not you should never say x n converges to x without saying in what sense you are talking about. See when you are talking about a sequence of real numbers it you can say x n converges to x because there is only one notion of it right. But when you are talking about a sequence of uh, random variables there are so many notions. So, you have to you can never say that some uh, you should never say that x n converges to x without saying in what notion it is ok. It is a fairly common actually there are people who write papers with without saying what sense their convergence is in right. So, that is very bad ok. So, you should always mention the sense of convergence when you are talking about random variables ok. Uh, then we had convergence in probability right. So, for that we will say x n converges to x n i dot p in probability. and convergence in the rth mean we will write rth ok and mean square convergence r equal to 2 instead of write writing 2 here we will write ms ok. So, for mean square we will write x n converges to x in the ms mean squared sense ok that is for this bit ok. And finally, uh, distribution convergence in distribution uh, we will use there are some there are a couple of standard notations ok. One is to just put a d on the arrow the other is to put a double arrow. So, some people write that ok x n double arrow x, but this looks like implies. So, I do not really uh, like this notation so much. So, I we will use x n arrow d x ok just put a capital D on the arrow ok.
all right that is as far as notation is concerned. So, now so I of course, we will give several examples of uh, examples of sequences of random variable converging in various senses right. Uh, but before doing that I think it is actually in instructive to put down the main theorem that talks about how these notions of convergence are in fact related ok. And then we will look at some examples because those examples may themselves show that uh, one sense of convergence does not imply some other sense or something like that right. So, let me put down the main theorem this is exceedingly important. Uh, by the way all this material is uh, very nicely so the very good source for all this is Grimmett Scherzaker chapter 7 ok very good source for convergence of random variables. theorem. So, this is theorem hierarchy hierarchy of convergence this is a very important theorem ok. Hierarchy of convergence means it gives you a, a sense of what implies what and other way around or not uh, right those kind of uh, in some sense it gives you a hierarchy of which is stronger and which is weaker right. the following implications hold. So, I will just write the notion ok, I am just going to write these notions there ok almost sure uh, implies convergence in probability and so does uh, rth mean for r greater than or equal to 1 also implies convergence in probability. And convergence in probability implies convergence in distribution and of course, it goes without saying that point wise convergence implies almost sure convergence right. And between rth mean and almost surely there is no relationship whatsoever ok almost or for that matter point wise right you may have rth mean convergence without almost sure convergence you may have almost sure convergence without rth mean convergence these two have there is no implication in any direction between these two ok. And generally the reverse implications are false ok. So, let me just say no other implications hold in general. So, this bit is obvious right the bit about point wise implying uh, this is obvious. So, how many so how many results do we have to prove we have to prove 1, 2, 3 implications 3 results we have to prove right and we have to in order to prove that no other implications hold in general we have to give uh, counter examples. Right, if I give one counter example it is enough to show that some particular reverse implication does not hold. So, I will have to give 1, 2, 3, uh, 4 and 5, co 5 counter examples I have to give is that clear. So, I have to prove 3 theorems and give 5 counter examples to establish this right. Right, one is I have to prove that does not hold, I have to prove that does not hold, I have to prove that does not hold 3 and between these I have to prove that there is no implication in either direction that makes it 5 results that I have to prove or 5 counter examples that I have to give and 3, three results of implications to prove ok. So, that is what I will spend uh, today and the next lecture doing ok. 
So in the in the process, I would have given you several examples because I will be giving counter examples to uh, prove that the reverse implications don't hold, right? So in this, uh, so this is a fairly non-trivial result. Okay, well, it is non-trivial. It requires a somewhat uh, serious proof. This is a relatively easy proof. Okay, this is probably the simplest. You see why? Uh, no, r greater than or equal to 1. So, what you have is if r is greater than or equal to 1, uh, you can uh, just use Markov's inequality, right. So, if you want to prove so, if you want to prove that Arth mean convergence implies xn converges to xn probability for r is greater than or equal to 1. So, you have to prove that limit n tending to infinity probability that. So, I have to prove that for every epsilon this limit is 0, right. So, one thing you should see when you are trying to prove a notion of probability, uh, notion of convergence, you first write down its definition, okay. That is a very safe way to start rather than you do not try to, you know, intuitively wing it or something. Just put down the definition and try and prove it, okay. That is a very, uh, I mean, that is how we should go about it, right. So, this is what I want to show is 0, right. I want to prove this implies that, right. Convergence in probability is saying this is limit is 0, right. But by Markov, this will be less than or equal to. Um, so yeah, so I can have an R R here, right? For R greater than or equal to one, I can put an R and R here because they're all monotonic functions. For R greater than or equal to one, then I will have expectation of uh, x n minus x to the rth, correct? over correct because this probability is less than or equal to that okay and since i have convergence in the rth mean for every epsilon greater than 0 this limit will be 0 right so this is 0 for all epsilon greater than 0 right so this limit is this is uh, this probability has to go to 0, correct. So, this is by Markov inequality, okay. So, this bit is done therefore. So, we proved what you wanted to prove, okay. 